and welcome back to Hatip Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we will move ahead with the SES based programming as we have already installed our SES uh, University Edition. So, let me start with this SES University Edition. Just click on Oracle Virtual Box, select your Virtual Box, and click uh, Start. Okay, so it will start our University Edition. Okay, so uh, here you can see it is getting loaded okay so once it is loaded then we can go to uh, this URL okay uh, this this is the URL uh, this should be available in the local host if we click on this okay so you can see here and now you click the says studio here so it will start the studio okay and uh, we'll go through the basic programming and uh, basic understanding how SES works and kind of thing so which is very important session okay so now this is you can see SES window is open uh, there are various windows actually so there you will code over here you will be writing your code over here okay so this is editable window okay so the whatever code you run it and then log would be produced over here results you can see here so we'll do the hands-on then you will get to know exactly what and the two important things here from this uh, left pen we can consider here is a whatever my folder is available would be shown here and the libraries the second part is a library these two things is very important so let's go to the PDF and then uh, this PDF I will be sharing with you again okay so these are the topics which you will be covering here so let's uh, we will what we will be understanding in this uh, importing exporting row files creating and modifying says data set identifying correcting so across the various session we will cover this topic actually okay so uh, first we will create a new folder so how would you create a new folder just go here into the server files and folder section here you can see uh, like this this if you click on the properties you can see where this location it is pointing this is pointing to the my folders location which we have created okay so let me first create the folder then we will go to the location okay folder and the give the name to the folder as a Hadoop exam okay uh, so let's save it here and you can see here properties here so this is the properties of this folders okay so let's go to the in the background uh, where we have created my folder so here you can see in the my folder we have not never created Hadoop exam so now it is automatically created uh, then empty folder which we have just created because of this my folder okay now next let's move to the create a library okay so library you can create it so this library can be pointing to a particular folder where your data would be stored so, okay let me uh, create first this full library okay so this is the statement whenever you want to create the library what exactly is the library in the SAS whatever data you would be creating permanently or temporarily would be stored in a library so it's a collection of data set okay so which can be understood by the SAS okay that is known as a SES library so so where this SES data would be stored obviously somewhere in the folder on the disk would be stored this SES uh, data set so this is known as a library okay in the SES so whatever data you would be working upon is known as a library if you are coming from other programming background then it would be confusing like data is data that cannot be library library is a coding part generally people say correct in other programming language but in the SES the data on which you will be working upon is known as a library okay so collection of data is known as a library so it's a data it's not in the coding part okay so that let's understand it so this is the you would paste into the code section here okay and what we are saying the folder which we have created just now this says user is a library name okay lib name is a statement from the uh, says which says like I want to create a library the name of the library is a says user so this library already exists if not exists, then it would be created here so here you can see the libraries already exist but what we want whatever work we will be doing should be stored on this library if I do something then it should be stored in this folder so this is the linkage between library and the folder so this library is pointing to this location in the my operating system on the this okay so if I run this so this is actually a running a SES program so once you run it you can see that you would become automatically into the log window so log window has a various things like errors you can see if there is any errors in future program we will see uh, like errors might be coming and we how to resolve this okay so that would be printed here but there is no errors if there is any warning then there is a warning would be printed and there is a third portion is a notes if there is any notes so here it is mentioning the one notes is present what is one note this is the blue 
color you can see it is a node here so library reference says user was successfully assigned as follows so this is says user is a library name which is assigned what engine it has used underline v9 engine of the says it has used and the physical name of the folder you can change if you want which engine if you want older version of the says then you can change that engine but right now we'll not go through this how to change and everything and physical location where it, this library would be pointing here okay so now this is the library if I refresh it I don't see anything right now but here my folder is available this Hadoop exam okay this folder so the content is not there correct so we have just create a linkage between library and the location now there is no result only log would be generated okay so now let's move in the background you can see a new folder has been created with the name of Hadoop exam in the shared folder as we have created now save this program with the following name like Hadoop exam base dot says you should save this program because what happens this link is whenever you create new session like you shut down your machine and everything as uh, everything and you want to work on next day then this link is would be removed actually it won't exist anymore so as soon as you close your says session this linkage will be gone so that's the reason you have to uh, save this file how would you save this there's a control s button you press it okay and you can give any name to this program so what i'll be doing i would be storing as a base dot says program okay hadoop exam underscore base dot says program so whenever if uh, in future if i wanted to okay uh, okay so the location it was asking me where to save it so I, I'm saving it to the my folders okay so now if I close this and if I double click and open it so this says program would be uh, available so whenever we would be like working on the next session we have to execute this program okay so so there is a shortcut if you want to run this program uh, there is a I think f3 is the shortcut uh, to run this program okay yes there's a f3 button if you press it it will run the program whatever in here if you want to create new window in the says program so just f4 you press it so this would open a new window and you can write new program here so here this is one window for writing one program and another window for writing another program so here you can write something else you want it correct so parallelly you can have multiple programs so as soon as you become more familiar with this environment you'll get to know how to work on this okay so we'll have to keep executing a statement whenever we are working the sample data you have created a sample data to work on it so now this is my says program let me copy this says program okay from here to here and we'll go through across it so I would use the uh, f4 key to open a new programming window and I'll press uh, paste over here Control A. If you see this is not looking good, so right click here, select entire program, and click on the format code. So it will be properly format it. It's a readable format. You can see here now this is. So this is the program I will be explaining you in detail. Okay, so don't worry about uh, if you don't understand in detail too much right now. Uh, so because there are a lot of sessions coming up in future, so which will make you the uh, comfortable with this. A so single statement can spin across. So in the says the any state any line which end with the semicolons would be known as a says statement so this is a says statement one this is says statement okay because ending as a semicolon this is another says statement these are all known as a statement okay these are all this run is also on a says statement this is a statement okay this run is in a statement so this is individual statement what it's a single statement can span across many lines so right now you can see uh, like every line has a single statement but what I want my single statement has to be in multiple lines so I can do this this is still correct this is known as a single statement this two line represent a single statement but still a across multiple lines so it's a valid here even I can say because I, I like this format okay so this is across the three lines my statement is there so still this is a valid statement because it start here and with the semicolon here so until and unless it find the semicolon it won't end the statement so this is the statement which start from here and end with the semicolon this is the statement start with the data and end with the semicolon this is single statement okay this is single statement in a single line this statement in the three lines so this is the statement okay blank and special characters separate the words in says so these are the uh, like these are the blanks if you want to separate out the words so don't worry about what this dollar represent right now but this represent the the space is a um, to any uh, like it's a normal thing okay says statements are not case sensitive so like if I want to write data here in capital I can write it down so it's a case sensitive but only says specific things are 
case sensitive anything which is inside the single quote and double quote can be a case sensitive this is the path but that is okay it is not case sensitive but there are some things like uh, uh, some characters or strings name okay so you think the right things in the double quote that can be a case sensitive but that is okay if you here you can mention it this is an id so this is not a case sensitive anything which you put into the double quote and single quote can be a uh, case sensitive so you'll again come across the situation then i'll tell you in detail again so says statement always begin with the says keyword so here this data is a keyword lib name is a keyword in file is a keyword input is a keyword run is a keyword proc is a keyword so these are all statement which start with the uh, keyword uh, that is known as says statement there are various type of says uh, statements statements like there are two types of statements okay one is a uh, statements which are in the data steps and proc steps first understand the step okay so there are two steps in says programming whenever you work you will always find only two steps like one is a data step always your program would have data step and proc step remember this thing there would be this is known as step so this cover this entire thing this is known as a data step this is known as a proc step okay says as a two step data step and proc step remember this thing okay so let me again select all right click format code so it would proper formatting so this is the one data step and this is a proc it is possible you could have in a single program multiple data step and proc step like i could have multiple data step yeah, like this so that is valid there is no issue okay but generally there is a program will have a data step and proc step you can have even multiple proc step in a single program that is fine it is this is a still valid program there is no issue you can have as many as proc statement uh, steps as many as data step as you want it okay uh, now let's move to the next part statements in this there are two types of statement once the statement which are inside the data step and proc step so these are the uh, statement inside the data step this is also in the data step this is the statement inside the proc statement you could have any statement so this is a statement inside this and another statement is a global statement which are not part of the your data step and proc step that is known as a global statement so this is the global statement here lib name this is not nowhere it is a part of the not a data step not a proc step correct so that's the reason this is known as a global step so this kind of various kind of global step lib name options title footnote etc other remain active until your session close so as soon as you close the session this global statement has gone so that's the reason i told you save this part we need whenever we start the new session because this is a global statement as soon as you close the session this statement will be no more valid okay so you have to run it ag again so says data set it is a data formatted such that it understood by says okay i'll come back to this point okay so this creating the data set which only says can understand nobody else can understand okay data step this is used to create and modify the data okay so this is the data step so generally uh, let's remove this we don't need this multiple as of now okay uh, remove this okay uh, clear the step so data step this is the data step okay what is the purpose this is used to create and modify the data you can use raw or says data set here okay and data step will generate the output which can be report or says data set using the data step you can okay let me tell you this you can uh, i'm reading this file here okay which is comma separated file and creating a new says data set name is what is the name of the data set is the work dot prices okay this is the data set name okay so put your data into the says data set you can use this data do any mathematical things you computation you want to do you can do in the data step edit correct your data set if you want to edit it correct it you can do this you can generate a new data set out of existing data set so this is my physical copy of the data set i wanted to generate new data set i can do this okay so so let me run this program okay so so how lib name let's re remove this which we have already done this okay so now what i'll be doing here okay how do exam 101.csv file first this file should exist on this folder correct so let me go here uh, this how do exam we don't have this file now so i'll be sharing this file with you as well so i have this file let me copy this file and put it over here in this folder okay in the hadoop exam open it and uh, i'll this is a csa file so this is a comma separated file which has four field first we name is a id field which is identify second field is a date okay third field is a course name okay and last field is a fee of this training course okay this is the my data which contains 10 records let's remove this 11th line we don't need this is empty line 
okay now what I told says this is my file okay this is known as in file statement this is my file location so if you wanted to know what is the my file path just refresh it first this file is available here now right click properties if you don't know how to get the path so you just copy paste this path and use this so this is the same path which you can see my folder my uh, folders my folder Adobe exam Adobe exam dot one zero one dot csv file correct and close this and this data is delimited by comma okay the data which you have and I want to give the name to my the field which are in this uh, data set first field I want to give name as an ID second field name I want to give as a date third third field I want to give name as a course name and fourth as a fee now here date isn't we wanted to say a load is a, any a string which is numeric you don't provide any dollar sign after that but this is not numeric like here you can see date is not a numeric this contains the character value Hadoop is a contain character value so these are the string characters okay so we would be providing dollar sign behind that so date would be loaded as a string course would be loaded as a string here okay uh, but fee is a numeric variable so we don't have to provide any dollar sign ID is a numeric variable so we don't have to promote so let me run this part okay what we are saying this is my file comma separated file this has four fields name I have given the field name and whatever you have in this file create a new SES data set which is understood by SES and the name of this data set would be prices okay this name of this data set would be prices okay so let's load it here okay so now uh, before that let's go to the library this is a work library this is a temporary library this library doesn't contain anything as of now correct so what I want this prices should data set should be created under the work library that's the reason I have given work as a name of the library in this library create the data set with this name okay so let's run this here this is the main uh, f3 you can use it or you can just click on this running main so run this program okay so now you can see this data set prices have been loaded here in the work library okay and this is the data so this is the same data which we have here would be loaded here so here you can see this is the 10 records here the dates are loaded course name is loaded and fee is loaded correct so this is the data set which we have loaded and this data correct okay so now this is the log what log says there is no error there is no warning there is a notes for note this is says this is the input file is this is the name of the file okay owner of the file is root user group name is this okay don't worry if you don't understand right now permissions okay when this file was last modified 22nd January file size 24 46 this is first note node 2 says 10 records were read from the file correct we were having 10 records correct from this file the minimum record length is 19 character okay minimum length you can see here I believe this is here 20 character it is showing okay so as per okay so this is 19 character okay here you can see selection 19 character this is the minimum length and what does it says maximum length of this record is 32 character so this is the maximum length this is 32 character here you can see Correct the data set work dot prices is 10 observation and 4 variables 1, 2, 3 and 4 variables correct so what exactly here the variable means output data this is all the columns are known as a variable name okay these are all th there are 4 columns so 4 variable names and 10 records would be created so that is known as 10 observation has been created correct so that is the same information the printed by this okay so in the second note the data set work dot prices has 10 observation and 4 variables correct data statement used total process time real time it took only 0 0.01 second but CPU took, took the 0 0.02 seconds okay so that is what the information if you want to read about whenever you are working on the data set okay and this is the output data would be generated there is nothing in the result right now okay so this is the data which we have now next part in our program here okay so this is my program code here we have not saved this program so that's the reason it is showing star over here okay this is the star now let's run the pr another step that is a proc step in the proc step what we want print this data as a report I want to generate a report out of this and what is the data this is the data equal to we have to give this the data name so this is the data now which requires says data set okay whatever we have created which only the data which generated uh, here would be used here says data set can be used to generate the report and we said print it so you need this run statement okay if you don't have run then it won't run it okay 
so this is the run and you can see there is a beautiful report has been created over here so this is the same data set but in the proper uh, uh, format it would have been created okay so now I don't want this observation column how to remove it I want to name the header change the name header I want to give the name title to this report how to do this so there's a various things available to do this thing <coughs> so I can give here I think title yeah and if you press as soon as you start typing it and you press control space it will give you the hint what you want to type it if you don't know the spelling or what available options kind of thing in the says so here title this is my first program so this is a statement let's end with the semicolon I can select this portion here and run it again so here you can see this is my first program you can see title ha coming up how to remove this observation I'll tell you later on okay don't worry right now okay so now we have executed program so data step which we have used to modify this proc step generate the report do the descriptive statistics if we want to do this we can do this in this session create a summary report okay and produce the plots and chart if you want to do this then it's also can do it and processing the says program as soon as data and proc step is found it is considered as a new step okay so if you run the entire program together this is possible correct this will generate this so as soon as new a uh, pro step or uh, data or proc statement is found in the running the program it would consider the new uh, uh, new step has started okay so because data and proc are steps as I told you if it finds the run or quit statement it means it is the step boundaries like this is the run statement means like my step ends over here data step ends here proc means this is the starting the new steps run here is against end of the, the step okay log message you will see various logs in the different colors as we have seen here okay now another example of proc frequency statement it will be generated okay let me check check how much time it has done okay so this uh, we have already uh, done like 25 minutes so let's uh, break the sessions to in a smaller part so you won't get bored or something so I'm stopping here and I will cover in the next uh, second part of the session uh, remaining from here okay so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session if you're watching on YouTube don't forget to subscribe it and also don't forget to visit hadoopexam.com where there we are providing various Hadoop certification preparation materials this says certification preparation material so right now you can see basis we have 490 questions so it's advanced 365 questions says uh, for clinic uh, so sorry statistical for 86 questions and various material even uh, for this with this you can find study material as well and soon we will be launching the basis training so keep watching and keep going through this hardupexam.com there are various training materials uh, we are providing and the uh, certification preparation material providing we have more than uh, like 30,000 subscribers as of now okay so you can check even testimonials how people are clearing the certification various certification so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session okay so let's uh, continue in the next session remaining part thank you